Hello, it is the daily A-level maths tricky question. And today we have a question from June 2019 at Excel. It's about trig, it's about differentiation. We got the X's and the Y's the way around. Small angle approximation, lots to going on. Let's get into it. Okay, so we have a uh, curve and it's x is equal to 4 sine 2y between minus pi over 4 of y and pi over 4. It passes through the origin. Find the value of dy by dx at the origin. Okay, quickest way of doing this is to differentiate with respect to y. So I'm going to say dx by dy is equal to, well, if I differentiate this function, I know that sine differentiates to cos. The input is 2y, so I differentiate that to get 2 times it by the 4, so I get 8. I can now swap it over, so I get dy by dx. And I take the reciprocal of this side as well, so I get 1 over cos of 2y. And at the origin, dy by dx the y value is equal to zero at the origin. So I just sub in zero and I get one over eight and cos of zero is one, so it's just one over eight. So that's part A done. Part B says use the small angle approximation for sine two y to find an equation linking x and y for points close to the origin. Well, first off, the small angle approximation for sine y is just y. So the small angle approximation for sine 2y is just 2y. Okay, now we need it to link x and y. So we need to use this equation here because that links x and y. So I can say that x is approximately equal to 4 and sine y, we're going to call 2y. So we get that x is approximately equal to 8y. And, whoops, these should have been approximately signs, because using a small angle approximation. And the next part says, explain the relationship between your two answers. Well, here we have the gradient, and here we can see that the y is approximately equal to 1 over 8x. So the answer to part b, part 2, will be that they both show the gradient is 1 over 8 near the origin. Part c is when we need to rearrange our dy by dx function so that it's in terms of x only. So to do that, I'm going to grab some space. And I am going to start by rearranging this for sine 2y. Because that's equal to x over 4. And then whenever I want to convert between a cos and a sine, I'm going to have to square. So I'm going to square this equation here. And that's going to give me sine squared 2y is equal to x over 4 squared. I can then replace sine squared 2y with 1 minus cos squared uh, 2y. I can then make cos squared 2y the subject. It's going to give me 1 minus x over 4 squared and then I can square root to get my cos 2y and that's going to be the square root of 1 minus x over 4 all squared. I could then go one step further and multiply by 8 and now I've got an expression for 8 cos 2y only in terms of x, and that can go right in here into my dy by dx equation. So I have dy by dx is equal to 1 
over eight lots of the square root of one minus x over four squared. And I want x squared just to be on its own inside the square root. So I'm going to have to square out this bracket, which is going to give me the square root of one minus x squared over 16. And I can rewrite this denominator as two times by the square root of 16, which is four. So two times four is eight. And then I can keep that the same. And now I can multiply these two thirds together. So the square root of 16 times by the square root of inside this bracket just means I times the two numbers together or the two terms together, should I say. So I get two and I got 16 times one, which is just 16. And here I have 16 times x squared over 16, which is just x squared. Great, and I think we are done.